When Australia looks west, this is what it sees. The mining industry really is underpinning the Australian economy at the moment. Everything is booming everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's the Wild West. Hot, surfer bums, lots of sharks. The West is home to billionaires, bogans, people living in the fast lane of Australia's two-speed economy. You pay $5 for a coffee in Perth. In Melbourne, you can get really good coffee almost half the price. Never mind the cost of a beer. $12.50 a pint. It's outrageous. To many, Western Australia is simply full of cowboys just lucky enough to be living on a mountain of iron ore. But it's not all about mining. I think people from Western Australia seize opportunity and maximise opportunity. You have to take risk. Perth likes to boast the highest proportion of self-made millionaires of any capital city in the world. And we spent a year following seven of them through triumphs. I guess our picture of the world is now we've got you know, close to a million households that are connected up to iron. I was the world's biggest selling Hyundai dealer. Life-changing innovation. 20 years from now, it would have replaced vaccines that you're currently taking by needle. And battles for survival. But I can guarantee that the first headline will be Tabitha's collapses. Me asking for one-on-one -on -one meetings with everyone has put the fear of God into them all. We go behind the scenes. You just see the headline. Bree says she's keeping the court in settlement. And they will stay here until Sunday night and make it perfect, or they get no work and they don't get paid. And find the real stories of Boomtown.